Hi guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving history, Masonic history that is, through storytelling. Today on the program, I've got uh, a little bit of show and tell for you, some interesting items. However, before we, before we begin, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has liked and subscribed to these videos. I really do appreciate that. Uh, we're helping spread the message of Masonry and not just our deeper esoteric or philosophical teachings, but moreover, just the generalized history of our fraternity and really what it means to us. And that means all a whole lot to me that you're all with me on that journey. So if you haven't already done so, consider making your own Masonic Curators video. If you go to our website and you click on submission guidelines, check those out and I'm sure you'll find it pretty easy to make a, a quick video. Um, it doesn't take a lot of skill or anything, and you're the expert on your items, so don't have me talk about them. Tell the story, welcome people to the show, tell the story, and close out the show. We'll get it up on the YouTube channel, and if people have questions, you know, I can direct them back to you or however you want to do it, but it's fantastic. I love the storytelling element. I have to thank Brother Steve Harrison and Brother Greg Knott for contributing to this program. I hope they do a whole lot more videos. Um, Today, I wanted to show you uh, exposés. What are exposés? Well, a lot of times back in the day, people would publish the quote-unquote secret work of Freemasonry uh, for the public so they could read it. Um, I've got three books I'm going to show you. I'm going to set these two down real quick. The first one is called Handbook of Freemasonry by Ronane. Um, these were very common, especially here in the Chicagoland area. Uh, these were published by uh, Ezra Cook, who was famously against secret societies and, and the like. In fact, it, when you open the book, within the first couple pages, it has a publisher's announcement, and it just cuts right to the chase. It says, Ezra A. Cook, who founded this publishing business in 1867, was unalterably opposed to secret orders. So this is his publishing company. However, um, the company decides to publish these things. And inside, you know, you have a plate of uh, uh, Edmund uh, Ronane, who is a late past master of Keystone Lodge number 639 in Chicago. And it goes through all of the work at that time, which was, um, you know, standardized when he wrote this, uh, through all of our openings and closings and all these things. Um, talks about prudence and fortitude, the cardinal virtues. It even has some of our... Uh, well, signs, grips, words, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but what's interesting is this book was largely used as a monitor, and people would buy this all the time before the Grand Lodge of Illinois came out with a standard workbook. Uh, in fact, so this one here was published, I believe, in 19, 1917. An updated version came uh, a few years later. Uh, this one here is the rev revised edition published in 1958. And the same information is encoded in the front with the publisher's announcement. And what I find interesting is when the Grand Lodge of Illinois finally went to a print book, it looks, it's almost the same color, almost the same size. It was almost like, hey, this is very similar to what you're used to by the official sanctioned book instead of these uh, Ronane books. Um, again, same publisher and everything. Uh, it goes through largely the same uh, signs, grips, words, um, but it is slightly revised. And you can find these pretty much everywhere if you just look for them. Uh, now, one of the things that's interesting about Ezra Cook was he published some of the other works as well. For instance, this little guy. And this little guy just has the square and compass on the cover but when you open it up, it's called King Solomon's Temple or a C. Orienti, Steps 1, 2, and 3, Illinois. Again, published by Ezra A. Cook Publications. And it says, Outstanding Current Masonic Publications, the Masonic Quiz Book or Ask Me Another Brother. Um, it's got some instructions in here. It talks about aids to the memory. Uh, but this one is all in code. So maybe you guys can see this. If not, I will cut, obviously, to a picture of it. Uh, and looking through this, I think a Mason can mostly read this, but it really refers to 
uh, the making of something they call uh, the ritual adopted by the modern order of Essenes, uh, which I'm really not that familiar with, but it seems almost the same as the Masonic ritual, but instead of brother whatever, it's the Essene. Um, so pretty cool. Maybe you can find this, but you know, over overall, um, it still has the square and compass on the cover. So perhaps this was some sort of a pendant body within Freemasonry back in the day. Again, published date on this one is 1956, so, you know, 61 years ago. But pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, one last item that I found interesting was the statement given in the, uh, in the preface to this revised edition. Uh, they here quote Albert Mackey in their justification for publishing the quote-unquote secret work, and where Mackey says something along the lines of basically... You can read all day, it doesn't make a difference. You haven't been initiated, so who cares? Um, he says largely the non-Mason doesn't care at all about these texts, so whatever. The people buying them are going to be Masons. And I find that largely to be true even today, with the exception of your secret societies. Or, uh, Of course, there are the brothers out there who buy a multitude of books and uh, pick a couple quotes out and never really read them. Uh, that happens all too often, but uh, hopefully, you know, our Masons are reading. Um, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this week. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's, and we'll talk to you all next year. For Masonic Curators, I'm Robert Johnson, and please send us your videos. Let's get them up, and let's get the world talking about what you love about this fraternity. Thanks again.